Good afternoon, everyone. I am, as always, Lutra FM, and um, this is episode 79 of the Wraith Rover series. Uh, where you left us off last, we are currently top of the league by the skin of our teeth. Uh, skin of our neck, skin of our teeth, I can't remember what the expression is now. And um, yeah, we had a bit of a disaster of an episode, but we ended it well. So we lost 3-0 to Dundee United in a game that we should have probably won, but Dundee United seemed to be our bogey team. We lost on penalties to Celtic in the Scottish Cup. Uh, and then we drew Hearts in the top of the clash uh, challenge, top, top of the clash match, sorry, uh, in a game that I was really hoping we would win. Um, we scored initially after three minutes and then uh, we had a goal disallowed and then uh, Mara scored. So, uh, yeah, it was a bit frustrating to be honest, but... Hey ho, and then we won 2 0 against Falkirk to regain our top spot. But like I said, it's very, very tight at the top. Um, Omaha, our new sign in that we signed a couple of weeks ago, he's doing well. He's settled in nicely. He's, um, he's not got seven for us. That's, uh, that's who we got. He's got two and two for us so far. Seven goals for the season for him. Um, yeah, Hodgic is playing well as well. One of our other new signings. He's settled in nicely. Uh, I think that's it, really, on that side of things. Coella needs to go, I think. He's playing, but he's not playing very well. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of him. Um, right. I'll just go back out of this. Uh, we didn't have a game for 17 games, so we've got a lot of inbox items to go through. I could have done this offline, but I just didn't want you missing anything because we had the last day of the trans last day of the transfer window. Oh, I forwarded it, I've holidayed it, but like I said, I didn't want you to miss anything in case. We've managed to hit a couple of the club objectives. Um, we caused the Premiership top half finish. So I've managed to do that ahead of schedule. I don't know why we were after him after we after I better sign him just in case. Maybe my DOF knows something I don't know. Right, we signed the DOF has signed this this player here called Marek Kral. Oh no, I signed him. I went for him, didn't I? Uh he had a really good scout report, so I signed him. Can play in centre defence, but can also play as right back. Defensive midfield and weirdly a right winger. Uh, yeah, very versatile. Yep, so the transfer window is closed. So we'll just try and get through all this now. Uh, let's add him. Add him. Let's just skip the rest for now. Right, Hoyland's signed a new contract after his work permit got. Um, approved. Uh, Cameron Bruce is out for two weeks. Who do we have in the team of the week? We had Ashby, Cameron Bruce and uh, Baba Scoot in the team of the week. Join us out for a few weeks with a bloody virus. Out for two or three weeks. That's a hell of a virus, that is, isn't it? Then again, I know a lot of people that have colds for two or three weeks. Or flus. Uh, Hoyland's out for two or three weeks. Bar's out for four or five weeks. Ashby's out for a few days. Siska's out for a week. A lot of injuries picked up out of nowhere. Uh, all right, let's just keep going. We've got many now. Let's look to get rid of him. Rocco's out for a few weeks.
Right, come and Bruce is back, so at least there's that. Right, Aberdeen now. See how we get on. Give Mello a bit of praise first. Oh no, wrong block, wrong one. He's already been praised on his train by the looks of it. All right. Ayano's back, so that's good. Hopefully we've got Bruce and oh, we've got back backer and Ashby in there. The Rocky and Vivas and centre. Tickling off, a sneaky in Petrovic in midfield, Coretta on the right, uh, Anya Hong in the middle, Ruiz on the left, and Adams is up front. Right, let's see how we get on. As always, we'll keep an eye on the other team's games. Ah, we don't need to. Well, we, yeah, Celtic play Hibs. Hopefully, Hibs can do us a massive favour. Let's just have a look at the league. Oh, we'll have a look in a minute. We've got a highlight. Headed out nicely by us. Ashby now loses the ball. All right, they're passing it around a bit. We've just got to get the ball off them in a second, hopefully. They are frustrating us. Oh, defensive mistake here. Oh, on the hand. Right, let's have a quick look at the league table because I think Hearts have probably played there. So Hearts still got a game in hand. We are what we are four points clear of Hearts now, uh, one point clear of Celtic though, so we just got to hope that Hibs do us a favour, beat Celtic, and we get a win here. Uh, nothing happened for for what? There you go, Hibs winning one 0 Get in. Things are looking up, everyone. I say that, and then you watch Aberdeen score now. Get it, go on. Go on, Krasnicki. Oh, Coella. Come on. All right, throw in. Beautiful cross. Beautiful header there by Coella. Well done, Coella. You proved me wrong. Typical that you proved me wrong after I put you on the transfer list. Yeah, Hibs are still winning 1 0 as well, so that's good. So if this stays the same, oh, we'll have a look in a second. Right, tickle, I don't know what you're doing. There you go, throws it out. Playing it out onto the left. Now we've got in the middle, cross to the right, switch in play. Petrovic, back to Ashby. Ashby now. Oh, gets fouled. That's definitely a penalty. I'll be amazed if that doesn't end up being a penalty. Why are you going over there? It's a clear penalty. He fouled him. Huh? What's going on? Come on. Yeah. I don't know why he needed to do all that, though. Right. Press Nicky to extend our lead, hopefully. Lines it up. Run does the run up. Oh, I thought they were going to save it then. 2 0, get in. Right, a Celtic still losing. Ah, oh, they're winning. Ah, oh, they bloody come back and won. Come on, Hibs. Getting a couple more goals would actually be a great help to us because of the goal difference. Come on, Hibs. Ah, oh, they're bloody winning 3-1 now. Typical. 
bloody Celtic. Right, we're on possession. That's Nicky. Drives it all the way through the pitch. Gives it to Ruiz. Ruiz now with a beautiful pass to Oh, Onahan. He knows how to. He, he's got a pretty good shot in Onahan. Right, Coella needs to come off. Put Medina on. Uh, let's take back at Becker off, put Bruce on. Let's take off Naraki because he's on a yellow card. Keeps them on. There we go. Cross Nicky. Cross to uh, Crow. Ooh, lucky. Uh, corner to us, Ruiz. Medina, back to Ruiz. Now to Medina now. Oh, offside. Oh, 3 2. Come on, Hibs. Bit of late drama there in the Hibs game, hopefully. Even if Celtic draw, that will help us. Right, let's just see this game out now. Should we get another one? Can we get another one? Che Adams. Cross to Bruce. Ruiz. Puts it inside to Krasnicki. Krasnicki with a ambitious shot. It went wide. Come on, Hibs. Come on, Hibs. Come on. Ah. Annoying. Right, so nothing changes at the top. We're still top. Celtic is still one point behind us. Hearts have got a game to play. We've got the championship playoffs as well, so it's not like even if we stay top uh, after three more games, we've still got to worry about these. But yeah, one point ahead. We're five points ahead of... No, hold on. Six points ahead of Hearts now. Yeah, six points ahead of Hearts. So even if Hearts win, we're still all right. We've just got to worry about Celtic now. I think for now, unless Hearts end up winning every game the next couple of games. We've got Rangers next, that won't be easy. Ashby's out for two weeks, great. Right, uh, where are Rangers in the league this season? They're seventh, they're not doing very well. Right, we'll be back in a minute for the Rangers game. And we're back for the next part of the episode. Um, let's just go through this. So uh, yeah, we, had, we didn't have a game for four days, so I just thought I'd quickly holiday it. We've had a rubbish offer for Coella, so we rejected it. Yaz is back, thank God for that. Oh, what's this about a landmark? So uh, Ruiz is on the verge of becoming uh, the leader of the ass uh, assists. And he said assets then. But anyway, uh, he's edging close to becoming the leading assist maker in both Rafe Rovers and Premiership history. His 11 assists have put him in contention to break David Tunnel's current record of 14 on milestone looks increasingly likely to surpass. So that's good. Wait for this to say. Uh, just to update you while I'm waiting for this to say, on Baxter, my dog, um, uh, he's now got a new habit of um, basically when I take him for a walk, when I get to the park where we go for a walk, um, 
and he's fine. And then on the way back, he decides to speed when we're walking towards the road, uh, just before I put the lead on him. Um, he, because he can't wait to get home, because he's one of the few dogs I know that doesn't particularly like walking, uh, especially when it's cold and wet. And uh, he he just bombs up across, and he has no awareness that he's running into a road where there's cars that are probably going to likely to run him over. So it's happened twice now where I've just I've managed to grab him in time. So I'm not taking that risk now. So I've got an extendable lead. So he's staying on the extendable lead. He can't be trusted for now. I don't want that on my conscience. Um, I mean, I've only had him in my life a couple of weeks, but I mean, I love him to bits already. So, and my girlfriend would be upset as well because she loves him to bits. So we're just, uh, we just got to be careful. Anybody with, with a dog will probably understand what it's like. The dogs just don't have any awareness of the potential danger that if they run across a road. And he's such a tiny dog as well. He would absolutely get flattened by a car. But anyway. He is fine, don't worry. I take good care of him. Right, so here's the lineup for the Rangers game. Uh, the, uh, Diaz is back in defence, but other than that, we've got the usual defence there, usual midfield, and usual everywhere else, other than Hoyland, who obviously is still injured. So Che Adams will continue up front. Hopefully, he'll score today. Oh, sorry about that. Right, we've got, to, we've got to keep an eye on Celtic and Hearts games as well. More Celtic than Hearts, actually. Krasnicki loses the ball. We get it back, though. Diaz, we've missed Diaz. He plays really well with Vivas. They make a really good combination in centre for defence. Right, we're keeping possession by the looks of it. I don't like all these back passes and stuff. I worry that it's going to... Like, something like that, basically. Thank God for that. Thank God for that, indeed. Right, thank God for Tickle. Right, here we go. Can we break from this? No, we can't. Is it their turn to make a defensive cock-up? Oh, I can feel it. I feel it in the waters. Mm, maybe not. Oh, good defensive clearance there. Well done to Vivas. Quite an action-packed fight. First five minutes in this game, to be honest. Celtics drawing, hearts are winning. Uh, league table. Yeah, so hearts won their other game, so they've caught up, so that we're only one point ahead of them. We're only with one point ahead of them and Celtic. Ay, 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 ay. We've got to take off. So Che Adams has had to come off. He's injured himself. Celtic are winning. Hearts are winning. Uh, pressure on us now. Celtic are winning 2 0. Hearts are winning 2 0. Literally blinked. 3 0. Hearts. Celtic and Hearts both winning 3 0. So that's not going to help with the goal difference as well. Petrovic has got to come off. Three one in the Hearts and Celtic. Three two in the Hearts game. We really need to get a goal. The pressure's on us now. Ugh, Rangers will score this now. That's lucky. All right, Tickle passes out to Diaz. Diaz is taking his time, which is what we don't want at the moment. 
I'm a bit nervy at the moment. Okay, come on, let's get something out of this. Let's get a win. Let's keep the title challenge alive. Oh, nearly. All right, quite a few knackered players now. Uh, we can't take more players off. All right, let's try firing up the players, see if that'll work. Probably doesn't, never usually does. Come on, let's have a defensive error here. Come on. That's it. Put the pressure on him. He has. Oh, across to Ayanu. Yes, get in. Have a scoo. There we go. Keeping the title challenge alive. No one's given an inch in this title race. Hearts and Celtic and us. Right, let's just keep this lead. Oh, nearly. Nearly extended it. Becker. Becker, sorry. Uh. Right, so we beat Rangers, managed to keep our title chances ahead of us. Let's have a look. I think everything stays the same, I think, by the looks of it. I don't think there was any late drama in the other games. Yeah, was, oh, Celtic. Oh, Hearts must have uh, drew 3 3 in the end then. No, they won 3 2. Oh, I don't know. Just ignore me. Right. So we're three points ahead of Cel uh, Hearts, so that's good. But one point behind Celtic. So, uh, where am I looking? Schedule. So yeah, we've got Dundee and then Hibs, so hopefully we can beat them. And then we've got the Championship playoffs to contend with after that. Hoyland hasn't scored for one. I know he's been injured for a few weeks, but even before then he, won't, he hasn't been scoring. Right then, I'll be back in a minute. We've got 21 days before the next fixture. So yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Right, and we're back. Um, we holiday for 21 days, so you'll just have to bear with us. With these inbox items, I will try and go get through them as quickly as possible. See, this is why I want to sell Coella. No commitments. Hey, Adam's doing well in training. Vivas, not so much. Oiland's back. Uh, we had Ayanu, Bakker and uh, Babascu in the team of the week. We signed Salazar. Left back cover. We've got three left backs now. I feel like that's a bit too excessive really, but we'll see. Mulligenta's out again. He's been injured for ages. He's been on and off injured for a while now. Uh, I'm going to sign him because he... He has high potential. Let's have a look at him though. Fairly determined. Decent. Good dribbling. Good technique. Good determination. Good teamwork and vision. Uh, yeah. And only 21 years old. Japanese international. So might be a good commercial signing for us as well. Second place again in the manager of the month. Seems to be happening a lot lately.
Right. Uh, Siska's not listening to me. He seems to just ignore me when I'm telling him that he's not doing well in training. So I think we'll send him out alone if we can. Joiner's not doing well in training, but doesn't listen to me. What a surprise. That noise, by the way, is uh, Baxter snoring. Don't panic. Nothing. I'm not farting. I know it sounds like a fart noise, but it's not. He looks like a really good signing. Right, Siska's out for a few days. Um, Brendan Barr's back by the looks of it. Ashby's injured though. Uh, quite a few inbox items left. Oh, pressed the wrong thing there. Uh, Dundee next game. Hopefully we'll win. And then we got hips after that, I think. Brendan Barr's out for a few days by the looks of it. Then he's just come back from injury as well. He might end up being a really good sign in that player from Ecuador. He looks like a really good player. Have a look at him again. He's got really good finishing, really good heading. Decent technique, good composure, good off the ball, good acceleration and agility. Can he play as an advanced forward? Can he play as a pressing forward though? So yeah, he can. Not as well, but he can get trained up to be a pressing forward. All right. Let's see how we get on here. Let's have a look at the lineup. So we've got Tickle in goal, Ayano, Vivas, Diaz and Vaca, Petrovic and Krasny, Kuella, Omahan, um, Ruiz and Adams up front again. As always, we'll keep an eye on the other scores. Hopefully, Ross County will get a surprise win over Celtic. Hibs are beating Hearts. So that's worked out well. They're beating 2-0. Uh, I don't see Hearts as a competition, though, to be honest. All right, we're in possession. We've nicked the ball off them. Ruiz. Good ball. Good. Good goal. Could be disallowed, though. See what VAR says. Ah, it's a shame. Uh, let's just have a look at the league table at the moment. Yeah, hearts are now starting to slip down a bit. So if we win this one, we'll be 69 points. If Celtic win this one, they'll 68 points. So we'll just see how it goes. Got to win this game first. Oh, nearly. Oh, for God's sake. We better not have given them a penalty. Come on. It was a perfectly decent tackle.
Oh, I don't know what happened there. The VAR thing didn't come up. Right, Sessignon lines up. Come on, Tickle, 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 Tickle. Yes! Go on, Tickle. They didn't deserve the penalty in the first place. Right, corner to Dundee. Oh, come on. Every time we get a little bit, a little, every time we get a little bit, try and get a breathing space in the breathing space in the league, to, uh, league table, we bloody lose. Pressure just gets to the players. Come on. Ugh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Adams? They can, if they score again, we are screwed in this game. <laughs> Offside, I think all the players put their hand up there. Good save. Come on. Come on, Tickle. Ross County a nil nil with Celtic. Oh. Oh my god, what are you doing, Coella? What are you doing? You flipping idiot. He's a liability. He's not playing for the rest of the season, Coella. He's an absolute liability. Even though we've had a right winger sent off, I guarantee we'll lose this game even more now. I could have my striker sent off and we could be nil-nil and we'd still lose. It's like as soon as you get players sent off, FM just doesn't want you to win certain games. They'll just decide on the day. <clears throat> and this is one of them days. Well, terrible pass in there. Celtic will probably win their game now as well. Oh. Right, let's keep the ball. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. Just just give them the ball then if you're gonna do that. Just just why are you even bothering playing? It's not even half time. Oh no, it is half time, what am I about? Two 0 <sighs> I hate this game. <laughs> Still nil nil in the Ross County Celtic game. Hearts have got one back though. All right, let's try berating the players. Let's see if that'll do anything. Celtic winning one nil. There you go. The Celtic are now top. We can kiss goodbye to any potential lead we can have in the league title. In the league table, sorry. Oh. Uh, right. Change it up a bit here, so we'll have him there. Have him there. And we'll go attack him, sod it. We've got nothing to lose at this point. Bloody hell. Hearts are 3-3 free free in the Hibs game, so we're probably potentially third now. Celtic winning 2-0. We're just a bunch of bottlers. Absolute disgrace. Two points behind Celtic now. We ain't got a game for bloody 24 days. Uh, let me just check something. Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, right. Right, we haven't got a game for 24 days. So we'll be back for the last game of the league season before the championship playoffs. All right, and we're back for the final part of the episode. Let's just try and get through these inboxes as quickly as possible. Uh, like so. All right, we've got some new, new players. Not exactly, no elite talents, which is a shame. Usually you get one or two.
It's not a good, good start for Salazar, not doing well in training. Oh God, Hoyland's out again. Had an offer for Medina. Uh, yeah, we'll probably sell him to be honest. Right, so we've signed this player here. Petrovic is out. Uh, oh, another Asian player we could look to maybe sign. Try and get our, um, our fan base more in Asia. More money, hopefully. Joiner continues to not do well in training. New Columba International, Ed R. Astradillo, whatever his name is. Right, we've signed him. Good. Oh, sorry about that beep noise. No young talents of ours in the next gen category. Uh, right, let's try and get through the rest of these quick. Oh, Ayano's out again. Uh, Hodges is out. Adams is out. All right, let's have a look at the league table. So we're two points behind Celtic. We're two points ahead of Hart. So we've still got the championship games to play. Let's just get this game done first. Sorry for that beep noise again. I haven't had a chance. I'm on Facebook and I'm getting notifications. Sorry about that. Right, uh, let me just delete this Facebook so it doesn't come up again. Right. Um, here's the lineup for the last game of the regular season. We've got Ticken and Goal, Kral, Vivaz, Diaz and Baca, Krasniki and Rios in midfield, Marais, Amahan, Ruiz and Hoyland up front. So at least Hoyland's back for this game. We definitely need to win this game. If we lose this game, we can kiss goodbye to our title chances. Celtic and Hearts are drawing at the moment, so that's good. Right, Krasniki, come on backer, oh beautiful little passing, get in, that's our champions to be play, for that. Good interception there by Diaz, great vision of him to uh, come forward to intercept that pass. Krasniki keeps the ball. Gets past the players. Ah, uh, Rios a bit ambitious there. Celtic are drawing. Hearts are winning there. I can't see Celtic losing against Livingston anyway.
Right. Um, Hibbs now in possession. Damn it. Billy Mitchell from EastEnders has scored. I'm amazing he's able to play football at his age. <laughs> ah, right. Celtic is still drawing. I'll be really annoyed if Celtic draw and we don't win this game, when we, which is highly unlikely, but come on. Yes, get in. Baba school. 2 1 to us. Great. Good. That's what I want to see. Celtic still drawing. Hearts are still winning. Oh no. Oh no. Offside, any? Come on, ref, have a word. Yeah, can go for that. Oh, come on. That's it. Beautiful. Oh, Hoyland, come on. This is not the time to be missing. Celtic's still nil nil. Are they just they're just they're gonna score like the last minute. I know they will. Just temptation, isn't it? It's just like trying to wind us up. Go on, Anaheim. Right, oh. oh, Rios needs to come off, he's playing rubbish. Uh we'll have to put Bar on. Oiland's not playing too good either. Anaheim's knackered though. So we'll put on Valencia for him, we'll put Ollie Burnley on for him. All right, I need to do some tinkering. Uh, yeah, like that. And then Brendan Barr, go a little bit further up. No, thank God for that. Come on. Can we keep a lead in the game, please? Thank you. I don't know what Celtic's doing because we keep getting highlights, so we'll figure it. We'll have a look in a minute. A little bit of passing going on here. Anna Wanu. Anna Yenu, sorry. Lose the ball. Hibbs in possession now. Oh no. Arizo is such a good player as well. For God's sake. Oh. <sighs> yeah, and of course, Celtic are winning. Yeah, we're not winning the titles this season. We're not winning the title. We'll be lucky if we get third place at this rate the way it's going. <sighs> we're just a bunch of bottlers. Absolute bunch of bottlers. Look, third now. We're not even going to get second. We've got to hope we get second place now. Right, on that note, I'm going to call it a day for this episode. Um, thank you, as always, for coming along and watching. And I'll be back tomorrow with the Championship Playoffs. So, yeah, thanks. All the best. Bye.